Hello everyone, welcome to Divya Ganita. In this video, let us discuss the previous year integral problems. So now, let us start from 2023 problems. As I had discussed 2024 full paper, we are moving on to the 2023 questions. Now, let's get started. Here is a problem which was asked in 2023. So in this problem, they have given the integral of root of 5 minus 2x plus x square. So now we have to simplify the given function. That is, we have to simplify 5 minus 2x plus x square by using completing the square method. Now, this can be written as x square minus 2x plus 5 can be written as plus 1 plus 4 we are splitting 5 as 1 plus 4 then this function is nothing but x minus 1 whole square plus 4 can be written as 2 square therefore the given function is reduced to root of x square plus a square form we know the integral of root of x square plus a square that is x by 2 root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log of mod x plus root x square plus a square plus c. So now look at the options. So in every term that means in first and second term we must have root of x square plus a square. We have reduced it to that form but actually root of x square plus a square is nothing but 5 minus 2x plus x square. Now look at the options. All the options are almost one another same. They have just differed in plus and minus sign. So in both the terms we must have 5 minus 2x plus x square term which is nothing but root of x square plus a square. So here in option a here we have plus. We should have minus there but they have given plus therefore that is not the answer. Similarly in option b here we have plus sign. Again that is not the answer. But in option C in both the terms they have correctly given 5 minus 2x plus x square which is same as x square plus a square. Therefore this is the required answer here. Uh, you can look at the option D also. They have deferred plus in this term. Therefore that also cannot be the answer. Now let's move on to the next problem. So the next problem is depending on the definite integral. Here we have to find the integral 0 to pi x into tan x divided by secant x into cosecant x. Now let us write cosecant and secant as well as tan in terms of sine and cos. Then we can write it as x into sin x by cos x divided by cosecant x is nothing but 1 by cos x into secant cosecant secant x is nothing but 1 by cos x and cosecant x is 1 by sin x into dx so cos x cos x will get cancelled and sin x will go to the numerator then it is nothing but integral 0 to pi x into sin square x dx now as it is depending on the definite integral we are using the property of definite integral that is integral 0 to a f of x dx can be written as integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Therefore, this function can be written as integral 0 to pi pi minus x sin square pi minus x. We know that pi minus x means it is a second quadrant and sin of pi minus x is nothing but sin x. Therefore, sin square pi minus x is nothing but sin square x dx. So, if we split this, this is nothing but 0 to pi, pi into sin square x dx minus 0 to pi x into sin square x dx. Therefore, we are getting back the same term. If we consider this as i, this is also i. Therefore, if we shift it, 2i will be equal to pi into integral 0 to pi sin square x dx. So, sin square x can be written as 1 minus cos 2x by 2 into dx. So, the integral will be pi into 
1 by 2 integration of 1 by 2 is nothing but x by 2 minus integration of cos is nothing but sin 2x sorry cos 2x is nothing but sin 2x divided by 2 so we get sin 2x already we have 2 here so it will become 4 from 0 to pi if we substitute the value then pi into pi by 2 minus sin 2 pi sin 2 pi value will be 0 if we substitute 0 both the terms will be 0 2i equal to i square by 2 that means the value of i is nothing but pi, pi square by 4 therefore the answer is option d this problem is again depending on the definite integral they have given integral minus 2 to 0 x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 3 plus x plus 1 into cos of x plus 1 into dx so to solve this let us split this function that is let us write integral minus 2 to 0 x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 2 sorry plus 3 and integral minus 2 to 0 x plus 1 into cos of x plus 1 into dx now let us integrate this function so the integral will be x power 4 by 4 plus x cube plus 3x square by 2 plus 3x so the limit is from minus 2 to 0 if we integrate this now there are two functions that is x plus 1 into cos of x plus 1 to integrate that function we have to use integration by parts if we use it the first function will be x plus 1 and the second function is cos of x plus 1 so uh, we know the method of integration by parts that is first function into integral of second minus integral of the integral of the second into differentiation of first that means we get x plus 1 into integration of cos of x plus 1 is nothing but sin of x plus 1 from minus 2 to 0 minus integral of again integral of cos of x plus 1 is sin of x plus 1 into differentiation of x plus 1 is 1 into dx from minus 2 to 0 if we substitute the value so the upper limit is 0 if we substitute 0 every term will become 0 so we will not write it here minus if we substitute minus 2 it will be 16 by 4 minus minus 2 cube means 8 plus 3 into 2 square that is 12 by 2 minus 6 plus if we substitute the upper limit then 0 plus 1 means 1 into sin 1 minus if we substitute minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 which will be minus 1 so minus of minus plus 1 into sin of minus 1 minus if we integrate the function sin of x plus 1 integration of sin of x plus 1 is minus cos of x plus 1 minus into minus it will become plus cos of x plus 1 so the limit is from minus 2 to 0 we know that sin of minus x is nothing but minus sin x therefore it will become minus sin 1 so sin 1 and minus sin 1 will get cancelled if we substitute the value here we get cos of 0 plus 1 means cos 1 minus cos of minus 2 plus 1 means cos of minus 1 but cos of minus x is again cos x therefore we get cos 1 itself again these terms also will get cancelled so we have to just simplify this term let us simplify it minus 16 by 4 means 4 minus 8 plus 6 minus 6 so which is nothing but 4 minus 8 is minus 4 minus of minus 4 therefore the answer is option a 4 let's move on to the next problem
So this is the easiest problem. They have given the integral of root of cosecant x minus sin x into dx. Let's convert cosecant x in terms of sin x. So cosecant x can be written as 1 by sin x minus sin x into dx which is nothing but root of 1 minus sin square x by sin x into dx. So 1 minus sin square x is nothing but cos square x. Root of cos square x is cos x. Therefore it is cos x by root sin x into dx. Now this is in the form integral of f dash of x divided by root f of x. We know that integral of f dash of x by root f of x is nothing but 2 root f of x. That is 2 root sin x plus c which is option a. Let's move on to the next problem. This problem is depending on definite integral. So we had discussed the formulas of definite integral in the previous video. Depending on that the integral 2 to 8. 5 power root 10 minus x divided by 5 power root x plus 5 power root 10 minus x is equal to. So, this function is actually of the form integral a to b f of x divided by f of x plus f of a plus b minus x into dx form. So, we had already discussed this. So, the answer will be just b minus a by 2. Therefore, the answer for this is 8 minus 2 by 2. 8 minus 2 means 6. 6 by 2 means 3. So, the answer is option C, 3. Let's move on to the next problem. So, in this problem, they have given integral 1 by 1 plus 3 sin square x plus 8 cos square x dx. And look at the options. Those all options are related to tan inverse. That means we must have 1 by 1 plus x square or x square plus a square form. Then only we will get the answer as tan inverse of something. And also observe we have tan inverse of tan functions. Either it is 2 tan x by 3 or tan x or 2 tan x. Everything is depending on tan x. That means we have to convert the function into tan x form. To convert it to tan x, we have sin square x, therefore divide by cos square. We can't just divide in the denominator. If we are dividing, we must divide in both numerator and denominator. So by dividing by cos square x, we get 1 by cos square x. We know that 1 by cos square x is nothing but secant square x divided by again 1 by cos square x means secant square x plus 3 into sin square x by cos square x means tan square x plus 8 cos square x by cos square x means 8 into dx. Now this is not in the form of x square plus a square. So let us simplify it further. To simplify this here we have secant square and tan square. We have a trigonometric identity that is secant square x minus tan square x is 1. So if we use that sub add and subtract tan square x. So if we add and subtract tan square x then secant square x minus tan square x will be 1 plus 3 tan square x plus tan square x means 4 tan square x. Here we have plus 8. Here we have 1. So 1 plus 8 will be 9. I am writing this directly. So secant square x divided by 9 plus 4 tan square x. Now this is in the form. If we substitute for tan x then differentiation of tan x is secant square x which is in the numerator. Therefore it is in the form f dash of x divided by uh, a square plus f of x whole square. Right. So for this the integration will be 1 by 2 because here, here we have the coefficient 4 which is nothing but 2 tan x whole square. So therefore we have to write 1 by 2 here and the formula for 1 by x square plus a square is 
1 by a tan inverse x by a. Therefore, it will be 1 by 3 tan inverse of x is nothing but 2 tan x divided by a means 3 plus c. Therefore, the answer is option a. 1 by 6 tan inverse of 2 tan x by 3 plus c. So, these are, this is all about 2023 integral problems. Let us discuss some more problems in the next video. For more such videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and also don't forget to press on the bell icon. Thank you.